Today I want to have a look at height gauges which are commonly used in the machine shop for both layout work and inspection type of work. It works on the same principle as the vernier caliper, at least this one does. This is a vernier height gauge and what we have is we have the movable scale which moves up and down and we have the main scale which stays stationary. This particular one happens to be a 12 inch a 12 inch vernier height gauge. If you look up here you will see there's two nuts. The first one is a locking nut and the second one is a nut that rides in a rack and pinion which allows this main scale to slide up and down so we can calibrate it. And this is the end that you typically will be working with. If you have a look down here you will notice on this one there is a scriber and I'm not sure whether you can see that or not but this scriber actually is discolored on the end so what we have is a carbide tip on it. You will notice it is sitting on a flat surface which is a surface plate. It should be very flat and very accurate. We want to touch the tip to the bottom of it and then we want to check the calibration between the movable scale or the vernier scale and the main scale. This one is calibrated in inches on this side and in metric on this side. And again, the main scale is adjustable so we can check the height. Before we do anything, we want to make sure the base is clean, the tip is clean, the table is clean. And then what we'll do is we will set the tip down on the table. We will get in line with the scale and check the reading and make sure that it is zero. Once we have that then we can do whatever uh, we need to do with it. In this particular case we can set it to a particular size and I'm going to run it up and I'm going to tighten this top lock here and then I can use this adjustment for fine adjustment. Now I want to adjust it up rather than down to get the size we want. I'd like you to notice on this one it actually goes from 0 to 50. So instead of having four graduations between the 100 thou marks on the main scale, we're only going to have two. So the vernier scale will read 50 thou now on the inch side instead of 25 thou, like on the hand vernier or the vernier caliper that you saw earlier. So let's just say for argument's sake that that's the size we wanted to set. What we would do is we would set an angle plate in the back and a piece of material. This material happens to have blue layout die on it. And then we would just bring the corner of this carbide tip scriber to it and we would just drag it across the work and we could make a line on our part so we could do some machining on it. So we would have basically a layout line is what's happening. So one of its purposes is for layout type of work. The other purpose of the height gauge, and I'll come back to this and we'll have a look at the reading on it later. The other purpose of the height gauge is to do comparison type measurement. So if you have a look at this one, here you can see that we have put a dial indicator on it. We've taken uh, the scriber tip off and put a dial indicator on it. Now what we can do is we can put a standard, a standard underneath the tip and set the dial here to zero and we can put machine parts, parts that we've machined and we can put it underneath the tip and we can check the plus or minus of them to see if they're within tolerance. And we can check several different ones that way. So it also works as a comparison type tool. This one here is not a vernier caliper, it's a digital caliper. And the reason why is we have this digital readout here. What I would want to do again is calibrate it, set it down on the table after it's been cleaned and make sure the reading is zero. If not, we can just hit the zero button and we can calibrate it that way. And we can run it up and check whatever size we want. One thing you need to be really careful of with this is there's no scale on the main beam. There's no scale. So all you're relying on is the readout, the digital readout. 
If I wanted to use it for comparison type measurement, it's set up for layout, but we could still comparison type measurement with this. I can bring it down and touch a standard, lock it, and I can set zero. Unlock it. Now, anything above the standard is plus, anything below the standard is minus. And we can put our part underneath again, bring it down and touch it, and I can check the plus or minus on it as compared to the standard. All right. Okay, as we said earlier, we'd have a look at the reading on the vernier height gauge. Again, please notice on the inch side, we have 50 graduations. And if you look in between the 100 thou marks, you will notice there's only one graduation. In other words, this has a reading of 50 thou on the movable scale. Again, each graduation is one thousandth of an inch. So if we have a look at it, we read the main scale, and it's read the same way as before. We come up here, and I can see the zero is just past the 300 thou mark. As a matter of fact, I can see it's one graduation past the 300 thou mark, so that would be 0 0.350. Remember, on the vernier caliper, it, each one was 25. So, but we only have one here, so each one is 50. So 0.300, 0 0.350, and you can see the zero on the movable scale is just slightly past it. So we come up the movable scale, the Vernier scale, and we look for a line that lines up. So 10, 15, 16, 17. The 17 lines up with the two here. So 300 thou, 350 plus 17. So the size is 0.367 inches.